You're a good dancer. It seems like you really love fruits. But did you know that in the future, we may not have any fruits? In fact, we may not have any food at all. Yes, you're right. No fruits, no food. Now one question. Do you know where all fruits and food come from? You're right. All food comes from plants. But do you know where plants grow? You're right. Plants grow on our planet Earth, on the Earth's crust. But did you know, we're not able to grow plants everywhere on the Earth's surface. The area where we can grow fruit is very, very limited. Okay, you don't believe me? Let's use that apple and knife as an example. Think of the apple as the planet Earth. Now can you tell me how much of the Earth is covered with water? Yes, you're right. If we cut the Earth apple in four parts, three of those parts would be water. So we can't grow any food plants there. So, only one-fourth of the Earth there is land. But again, we can't use all the remaining land not covered by water to grow food either. Do you know why? You're right. On half of this available land, we have mountains, deserts, and ice. So we can't grow any plants for food there. So let's cut this piece of apple into two parts. Now we're only left with an eighth part of an apple. Hmm, one-eighth part of the Earth. Now on this part, we have cities, buildings, roads, and a place to grow plants for food. Did you know that only one-fourth of this part is available for growing plants? Ah, oh, you look worried. So this is the only piece of land where we can grow our food. But did you know, we can only grow food on the topsoil of the land? Please peel this piece. So this little piece of skin is the only place where we can grow food. So we saw today that plants and trees are very important for us. If we don't save them, then more soil erosion will occur, and the area for plant growth will become smaller and smaller. 